PeachTools.com. G'day guys, me here to annoy you again. It's the last person you want to see in it. <laughs> but I'm here. Hey, anyway, what I'm going on about today, guys, is welding torches. How to replace your welding gun. You don't have to replace the whole lead, you know. Well, I didn't know that when I first started. I thought, yeah, once you run over it with the truck like I did, <laughs> stupid me. But, um, yeah, I ran over it, and then I thought, oh, bugger, I'm going to have to go and buy a whole new welding lead and torch and all the drama. But anyway, as you get along, you learn that you don't have to do that after I spent $300 buying a new lead, of course. Anyway, guys, same as usual. Like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day at peachstools.com. Come say hi to me in the comments down below if you want. And let's see what I'm doing this week. Yeah! So guys, these are the two torches that I use. This one here comes standard with my machine. And this one here I got made. Uh, this one here is 5 metres long and this one here is 3 metres long. I found that when I was welding my dumpsters I need something longer to get around the edges and all the rest of it because I couldn't pull the actual machine up into the bin that I was welding. Anyway, so that's why I got the longer one. But long story short, these are all basically the same. Even though they might look a little bit different in the, in the plastic body here, these are the same. And I was backing into my, into my garage once with the old truck and I ran over one, didn't I? And what I did is I, I put a great big kink in the lead here. So I ended up buying a whole new torch and lead, which was a couple of hundred dollars, which really, really annoyed me. And then after that, I was watching YouTube and I actually realized you don't have to do that. So then I started buying the parts for these things individually and uh, making them up myself, basically. So this is just a little video, guys. I'll show you that you don't have to spend a shitload of money just to fix your torches. Because this is, these things are really, really cheap to replace, as long as you don't have to replace the whole, the whole torch and lead. Anyway, enough waffle, Pete. Let's pull one to bits and have a look, eh? <laughs> now, this one here that I got made up, guys, this is actually a, can you see that there? This is actually a benzyl torch. And that is, I think that's the brand name of the, uh, the Euro-fitting torch. If you look online, look up benzyl, you'll see there's a lot of benzyl stuff. But the price of it seems to be four times as much as what it does for just the generic stuff here. So it doesn't actually make any difference. If you're running a benzyl torch and you want to change it for a cheap generic torch like that, it'll still work. It'll work exactly the same. As long as you're doing the same amount of amperage. Like don't swap a 200 amp torch for a 100 amp torch because it isn't going to work, it's going to burn it out. But I mean, if you're swapping light for light, like you can swap a generic 250 amp torch for a 250 amp benzyl torch, no problem whatsoever. So guys, I'll pull this expensive torch to bits and I'll show you that it's exactly the same, well, relatively the same as the cheap torch. So that's what Pete likes, cheapo, El Cheapo Pete. <laughs> so this is my brand name one that I paid through the nose for. Let's take that off there like so. And that should just lift up like that. So if we take that out of there guys, watch we don't pull out the switch wire here. See the switch wire here? We've got a switch here, just an on off switch underneath there. We've got here, like we've got a swan neck. This thing here is called a swan neck. And it's just got a screw on it here. It screws your cable up, because your cable not only carries your CO2 up, but it also carries, on the outside of it, there's a, there's a great big wire that runs around the outside, and that is for your voltage, for your torch. So your gas goes up the inside, and the wire takes the current on the outside, and it screws into here. If you can see that, it screws into here. And then you've just got two wires here for your switch. Quite simple, really. Now this is the expensive torch, now I'll pull the old cheap out of bits and let you have a look. So this one here guys is a torch that come with my machine. It's a cheap torch, it's just a generic Chinese thing. It's got no brand name on it, so we're not talking about a benzyl torch. But you can interchange these torches to the same machine, it makes no bloody difference whatsoever. So that's why I learnt that the brand name sometimes doesn't really make any difference for torches. It may be a little bit better quality. But I mean, it depends what you're after. If you're, just, if you're just a home welder like me and you chuck your shit around the workshop and, and you know what I mean, you can, the cheaper one is just fine. So just while I notice that here, you can actually see on the Dara one, it's actually got benzyl written on the inside there. Yeah, that's pretty posh, isn't it? <laughs> so here's my cheap one here. So we'll just undo the screws and then I'll just have to pop the back off because unlike this one, it has a screw on it. This just got pop off thing here. So let me just pop the back off here, guys. Like so, and then we pull them to bits, and look at that, we're exactly the same as the deal one. Funny that, isn't it? We've got the switch wires, switch wires, we've got the same cord coming up here, we've got the power on the outside, we've got the gas coming up the inside, we've got exactly the same threads and bits and pieces. The only difference is this hasn't got benzyl written on the inside of it. Now the price difference, admittedly this one here is a lot longer, but the price difference for a standard 3 metre 
for this one and a three meter for this one. The benzyl torch, I would say, probably say is maybe 80%, even 100% more expensive than the non-branded one. So say you're clumsy like me and you're backing into your shed and then you run over your torch head and then you bust this or you bend it or do something like that. Don't buy a whole new torch, just buy cheap replacement parts, which we like we have here. So now this here is a sort of a combination between the expensive one and the cheap one. It's not as ergonomic as you're looking as the cheap one. Oh, ergonomic, that's a big friggin' word for you, mate. <laughs> anyway, I must have swallowed some light bulbs this morning. Anyway, it's not as ergonomic looking as this, but it does exactly the same job, guys. And it's as cheap as chips. I think uh, 14 bucks, something like that. Last time I looked, I haven't looked lately, but I mean 14 bucks, 15 bucks, you get the whole lot. So we'll pull this one to bits and I'll show you this one. So I just brought these off Amazon, guys. I buy four or five of them because I'm as clumsy as shit, you know. So if we take this one here to bits and just pull it to bits like so, what are we left with? See that, guys? We've got the, the spring piece on the end, which is the same as this, which is the same as this, but this is just a plastic version of it, so it's just exactly the same. We've got the swan net coming up here. Here we look here, guys. We've got the swan net coming up here, which is the same as the swan net coming up here. We've got exactly the same fittings in here. So all you do guys is just unscrew your power and your gas lead here, screw it into here, hook your two wires up to your switch, which in this one here, the switch is down there, if you can see that there, can you see the two connectors in there on the switch guys? So you just hook your wires up to the switch. And Bob's your wombat, you got a new torch head for about 15 bucks. <laughs> That's what Pete will be doing rather than buying a new torch lead like he did the first time. But anyway, like I say, you live and learn, don't you? Um, I've also got another video guys on just how to change the swan neck, I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, check that out if you want to learn how to uh, take this off and put the new one on, it's really really simple. And it's just, yeah, instead of changing the swan neck, all you're doing is just changing the whole plastic cover plus the swan neck. So it's all pretty cool actually, that's what I think anyway, so save yourself some money guys and do it the way I'm doing it. Like I say, you don't need to have a benzyl torch, because benzyl I think is just a brand name. And like I said before guys, just replace like for like. See these are all 250 amp ones. It says when you buy it how many amp, how many amp you're using. So don't go and replace a 250 amp one with a 200 amp one. Because this one here is 200 amp. As you can see the gas nozzle is a lot smaller. And the swan neck's a lot smaller. But once again the torch body is exactly the same. And if you have a look in here guys, we get exactly the same drama. The hose will fit in exactly the same. See that guys, exactly the same, swan neck here, your hose goes up the swan neck down there, you got your spring here, once again you got your off on switch in here for your wires, and Bob's your wombat, like I say, if you got 100 amp, 150 amp, 250 amp, even 350 amp, 400 amp torches you can buy, just a replacement head, so that's what, like I say, guys, that's what I'd be doing, but like I say, I'm as cheap as chips, Pete, yeah! So guys, that's about it for this boring video, everything you didn't need to know about bloody welding torches. But like I say guys, if you're clumsy like me and you keep breaking these things, I just have a couple of these in the drawer, I mean, like I said, they're cheapest chips, just change them over, it takes 10 minutes and get on with your welding job. You know, no drama, don't go spending a couple of hundred bucks on a new torch. Anyway guys, same as usual, like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day to the old git in the comments below if you want to. And we'll see you next time, eh? Keep cool till after school. Peach tools dot com dot com